I am back. We're about to do some camping on Combine. How to camp Combine. How to get a mothership. This is my how-to series. I'm going to leave a link in the description to a playlist where I'm going to just put the how-to videos. I know a lot of you guys want specifically the how-to videos. So I'm going to show you how I camp this map. I'm going with an ICR setup just in case you guys wanted to know. Now for my score streaks, I'm specifically on this map going to use the Sentry Gun, the Wraith, and the Mothership. That's going to be my path to the Mothership. Now what I like to do is I like to put a um, I was about to say an IED, put a C4 right there on the flag, and then I come here. Now, no one's going to come this time, but I'm going to say 9 out of 10 times, you get one or two guys that want to come flank. And when they want to come flank, I lay them down, and I come here, and I get the quick kills. Now, I do push a little bit initially just to start off and get some points, wait for these guys to come. And when they don't come, I'm going to retreat and go back into my camping spot. I just wanted to see if they would do what I would call typical routes. And that's the one thing about playing this game. You learn the typical routes people do. Now, I'm going to come back here. Now, the only problem with maps like this, see, I thought I heard someone um, boost jump up there, so I was being really careful. You always got turds on your team that's going to be pushing the spawn. That happens a lot. They flip the spawns at certain maps, so you got to learn how to deal with that. That's one reason why I have the sentry gun, because in a map like this with them pushing the spawn, a lot of times I'm going to have the sentry gun back here with me just in case they flip the spawn and I get into a battle with these guys. Now, what I want to do on this map is I want to control the spawn, even if they flip it. I want the spawn to be in a favorable position. Now, unlike the Mark of J, who when he runs into four people, takes them all out, I'm going to kill one or two, and then the other two people are going to lay me down. So I want to avoid those kind of battles. Now, I do get up on this truck a lot for a couple reasons. They, When they come around the corner, they don't look high. Now, look at this. See where I'm at now? This is going to allow them to spawn over to, or to the left. I mean, I got to be conscious of this. See, look at that. They did it. Look, I'm going to move up so they don't see me. Now, I don't want to get into a gun battle. Look, that guy didn't see me. I'm going to let him go by. There's another guy. Look, got him with the C4. Shot him. He's one shot. Laid him down. Now I pushed the spawn back. Now because I was over there in that little by that little room, that allowed him to spawn right next to me. When I'm on this truck, it pushes the spawn out. Like it pushes it to that door out to the left on the side. And you got to be conscious of that. I got a teammate that's pushing the spawn. Look at this turd. He's just shooting the war machine for no reason. So you got to be conscious of that. I like to get up on this truck because it gives me a great view of these two doorways right here. A lot of times when they come to the right, they don't initially look up here on the truck. No one does. And that's why I get up here because people tend to look eye level. They're not looking up high. That's like advanced warfare thing where you got used to looking up high. A lot of these people, they're going to look ground level and I'm going to be able to lay them down. Now, I got to give you the number one rule to camping. Got to be patient. It's going to start off a little slow. And it always does. And when it starts off, so look, the turn is still pushing the spot. Look, give my C4 a sandwich. Man, a C4 sandwich it comes in handy. But like I was saying, you got to be patient because when it comes, it's going to come hard and it's going to come fast. And that's one of the things you got to be. Now, look, what I'm doing is I keep pushing the spawn back. You notice they kind of spawn to the right over there. I was telling you there's a spawn over there to the left. And what I'm going to be a score streak assassin. Like right now, I'm going to use my, my rocket launcher and I'm going to shoot down UAVs. I'm going to shoot down care packages and I'm going to collect those points. See, now I got the hardened sentry. Now, I'm going to tell you about this hardened sentry. This thing is great for watching your back, but it's not great for getting kills. I looked at how many kills a game I get. I don't get many because people will avoid this thing like the plague. Once you put a hardened sentry up, and like I got a hardened sentry kill. Once they know it's there, they're not going to come back and people kind of avoid it. But it, what it does for me, it gives me a detection, lets me know where they're at. Now I'm behind one of my favorite trees. Now I'm not worried about them coming to the right of me, but I kind of got to watch for the left. And now every blue moon, you're going to have someone that's going to have a class set up where the sentry gun's not going to be able to see them. They're going to run by it and come kill you. So I'm still got to watch my back. The sentry gun is to get the turds that aren't prepared. But look at it. See, it's letting me know they're coming, but it's not killing anybody. That's fine. I'm just trying to be patient. Like I'm 50 points away from my wraith. I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to get my beehive soon. I'm keeping that all in mind when I'm playing. Like I know the beehives about to come. I know I'm only 50 points away. It's really easy. Once I get that wraith, it's a little easier to flow into the next score streaks. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the wraith is hit or miss. Some games that wraith go in for me. I mean, I'm not gonna even lie. I'm, I'm talking five to twenty kills. Sometimes it's one kill and it's blown up, or it's no kills. I mean, it happens, and so you got to get used to that. I had a, um, a gameplay where I dropped this um, same setup, and they shot everything down. My mothership lasted about three seconds. I mean, it happens. You're going to get in games. Some people are more prepared, or some people you get in with noobs, and they all got rocket launchers, and they take your stuff out, and that's just part of the game. But I'm gonna say this probably seventy five percent and i'm making up a percentage i'm not drifter i didn't really go out there and do the measurements this stuff is effective so i'm not too worried about it. if i get into a lobby and they're shooting that stuff down maybe the next thing i'll just go with some different score streaks just to go with different score streaks now once again i got c4 on c 
I got beehives protecting me all over here so nobody's just running through and I got the wraith back there. The whole goal is to get to the mothership. These guys are up 83 to 69, but I'm being patient. Now I'm showing you how camping's gonna help win this game. Because when you get in your score streaks, and if I get into that mother machine that mother um ship, that night night machine, that can definitely change the game around. Now see I saw a guy there, but I'm gonna be patient. Why shoot at him and let him know I'm here? You know, for me, I just want to kind of protect this. Look, I want to do my C4. My teammate must have took him out. What a waste of C4. I hate that when they kill him. But I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to chill back here. Look, I'm not, I don't want to be here. I want to be behind the second tree. This tree is going to be like a, a side glitch instead of a head glitch. And I'm waiting for these guys. Look at this score. It's not bad. My rate that allowed us to go ahead and get a second flag is probably keeping these guys more indoors. And look, they're trying to get the flag now, but we're collecting these points. And that's what it's all about. Okay, so they got two flags. Look. The first half is almost up. I'm only 300 some points away from my mothership, which is very, very much doable. What I'm hoping they come back here and I get some killer bees. Two or three guys come back here, killer bees, land them down, and they can change. Now, look, it's 98. I'm going to come up a little further and lay here. I might get a straggler trying to run back here to last minute. All right, so we're down. We're down 100 to 89. Now, here's the amazing thing. If you look at the scoreboard, that team is all negative. These are what I call flag pushers. These guys are going for the win. They don't care about KD. But guess what? These are the kind of guys I was hoping for. These are the kind of guys I call feed the beast. Yes, they run from flag to flag to flag. I just got to be aware of that. And we got some turret that keep trying to push the C flag. I don't know why he doesn't go for B. And he keeps flipping the spawn. So I got to be conscious of this. Now, the second half, you guys see me camp this rock. But I'm going to do something a little different. After I capture the flag, I want to try to get into the mothership points. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to put a C4 here. A lot of people like to run across that top and come in that room. And the C4 lets me know. Now, here, this is a favorite camping spot of mine. I'm going to catch anyone that wants to run across this wall, or if they come through there, right there. I can usually get them. Look, and the thing is, I probably one-shot the guy. Let me go ahead and reload. And look, I'm going to get some easy points, because if he's on B, guess what? Look, ooh, ooh, 125. Get out of here, son. And now I'm going to retreat, just because I wasn't sure if somebody saw my bullets on the mini-map and they were coming after me. Okay, a teammate came that way. That lets me know, come back this way. Now, when you're up here, they can kill you to your right low, right there, and then them two cracks. There's two cracks right there. And you got to be conscious of that. But I'm watching where my teammates are spawning, which routes they're running, and where they're pushing. Now we got somebody pushing C, so I'm going to kind of retreat back just because I don't want the spawn to come right here. So I'm going to try to control the spawn a little bit just because the turd is pushing C. I'm being conscious of that. And so if they do come this way, because if I'm right here, that's going to force them to spawn over there in that right hallway. Guess what? I'm going to put them to sleep if they come through that door. Now me, I'm just trying to get the mothership. And I'm trying to play against my team. Oh, I got to get out of here. They just called in a lightning streak. Sometimes I'm playing chess, and I'm even playing against my teammates. I'm trying to flip the spawn when they're flipping the spawn. Like, no, go back to your side. You know, to me, it makes sense to try to control A and B, leave C alone. Now, if you're in a full party and you guys want to rush flags, it's fine. You guys are all on the same page. But when you're playing randoms and you don't know what they're doing, it's just a pain in the butt. So I'm going to get back up here on this perch. Oh, look, that could have been an easy kill. Watch down there and watch for these guys to come. Now, once again, I'm watching my teammates. Now, A is kind of open at this point. I got to keep that in mind. Every now and then, you'll get some smart aleck that he'll, instead of going for A, he'll run right past it and come like blink someone, especially if they know I'm up here. So it's kind of like a stick and run. But this is a favorite spot of mine. And like that, I got the mothership. Look how easy that was. Capping over there on that side. Now, I'm going to go to my favorite spot to lay down. And I'm just going to lay here. Now, I wish I would have put a C4 on A. Just, just to let me, let me know if they start capturing A. Sometimes I'll put it there even though I'm in my score streak. And I know they're back there with me. So when I come up, I'm conscious. Now, here's the beautiful thing about this mothership. I go ahead and I change the um, screen out. I put it You press X to get it on the screen. And look, lay them down. Now, this is a perfect map. As long as my teammates don't push into their spawn, literally, I would get like 30 kills with this. I'm not even exaggerating. Watch this. I'm going to lay these guys down. Look, I'm in their spawn. Before they can even shoot up at me, I'm going to be dropping rock, um, rock, rockets on them. And I'm going to be laying them down. The only problem is, look, there's a teammate pushing into the spawn. Get out of there, you turd. Look at this. I hope he dies. Because this is perfect. When you're in this map, and if you can get your teammates not to push the spawn, you will lay them down. Now, if they're going to push the spawn, and we're going to be back in our spawn, it puts them on the side. I don't want to move my ship. Look at that one. Hit them with rockets. Get all beat. And it pushes them over here to the left. But if these guys stay off, look, they will just keep spawning right here underneath me. Literally, and they'll just be laying them down. And I'm going to put them to sleep. Look, the night night machine raining down on them. You got rockets. Got bullets. Now, I've been showing you these capping videos with the mothership specifically because I'm going to tell you this. The mothership is a, a difference maker. When you get into a game, it changes up the pace of the game. Look, there was a guy right there on there. See, if I would have had the um, C4 on there, would have let me know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my beehives back here to kind of protect A. And now, look at the score. We're only three points down. 
Now, instead of my teammates just getting A and B holding it, they were back there flipping a the spawn, but that's okay. I just got to be conscious of what they're doing. And look, now I'm just going to be creepy. I'm going to be protecting my spawn at this point. Now, if we can hold B, and I sit here and I'm going to hold A, and look at this turret. Why is it just every time he gets the little war machine, he just shoots it up? Now, I'm not at the top of the list on score. But I'm being defensive. I'm being a goalie. Some people call what I'm doing. I'm anchoring. I'm holding it down. I just need my turd teammates who seem to be just out there rushing and risking their lives to just hold B down. And we can go ahead and get this win. And look, I'm pretty close to getting into my score streaks again. So if I can get that sentry gun, I can hold my back there. I just got to watch the one turd that keep pushing C. And chances are, I'm not going to go back and watch theater, mo theater mode. But it's probably the lowest guy on our team. That happens. You get the guy that's like 1-17 in 17 and he's the guy running for the flags every single time. Look at that. The first prestige or the guy that doesn't know any better. The guy who has um, rush-itis where he wants to rush and be a rusher. Look, see, they're flipping the spawn again. He's getting A, but it's okay. Look, I'm going to creep on him. It's one guy. Now, if it was three or four guys, I would have been worried. Oh, I missed that C4. Look at this guy right here. Let me show you some skills. XO. Oh, get laid down, son. I don't know if they're all back here now because we got some guy pushing the C. Look, let me put that down just in case. Clear him out. Clear him out. And look, at least they're giving me a free 200 points. Okay, I'll take this. <laughs> And look, I don't know what happened. Maybe they shot my um, beehives. And that happens from time to time. Sometimes the beehive is not as effective as you want. Now, here's the thing. And if you get someone shooting beehives, I hear them shooting it. I'll put the beehives down there. Hello. And they're shooting the beehives. And I can see the beehives through the wall. That's the beautiful thing. I look out and I see my own beehives. And I see them disappearing. Guess what? I'm going to come back and get people. Now, I put a C4 in that room. Just in case anyone's in there, I wanted to give me a warning. I'm going to go ahead and try to put this sentry gun over B. Now, you got to be careful. I'm going to have to drop it quick. I'm not going to get a good placement, but I don't want to get shot. And look, that thing immediately started shooting people. Now, hopefully, it can get me a few more points. Look, I'm really close. I'm only 15 points off getting the Wraith. I think it could be a difference maker. Now, we're up 178, 180 now to 168. And, yes, I am camping. I'm being a team player. I'm trying to hold these guys back. Now, this rock, you guys know, this is probably my favorite spot to camp on this back. I tear people up. Look, I'm getting hit markers with the sentry gun, but no kills. Come on, you guys. I only need one more kill if I get that Wraith out. Ah, oh, they got B. This is going to be close. to so grab 187 to 173. I'm not sure if we got enough points. But look, perfect timing. I love when they drop this. That's all I needed. I'm going to take those points. I'm going to go ahead and put up a Wraith. This is why I carry a Black Cell. The Black Cell is going to get me 300 points in the game or more. Look, I'm just going to take that out just for, for I don't want to say almost cursed for dookies and gills <laughs> look we're at 194 to 178 guys we're definitely going to go ahead and win this game let me go ahead and get that rate to get a few more kills now, if we had a little more time i probably could have got in the mothership or if i pushed a little harder i could have gotten the mothership but you know what i was patient i was careful and this is how you camp combine look at this you guys this is back to black back to black ha <laughs> back to back how to camp flawless look at that 43 and oh being a defensive player, being a camper, being a score streak assassin, a nay nay machine killer. They whole team went negative. Our whole team went positive. They were pushing. They tried, but they failed. All right, you guys. I am out. Let's go. The opposition. Mess with the best. Die like the rest.